Hey there, beautiful. I am going to show you how to use Discord voice chat while broadcasting a show to your friends in the Cast app and have it not be shitty as fast as fucking possible. Now, the problem here arises from... Now, actually, let's go ahead and open the sound control panel first, and then I can uh, show you the problem, and then we'll get into how we're going to fix it. And I'm going to move my mouse around a lot in this video because I do not have any software to make it more visible, and I do not make enough tutorials to give a shit about that. So uh, right-click on the volume icon down here in the corner, and if you see sounds, go ahead and click just the sounds option. But uh, that was there until recently, but Windows 10 took it away in one of their recent lovely Windows updates. We're going to click open sound settings for the roundabout way, and go to sound control panel right here. Once you're in the sound control panel, uh, this is where we're going to see the issue to, to, to identify the source of the problem. And then it's also going to be a crucial part of, uh, of fixing it. So right here, we have two important tabs. We have the playback tab. This is for your output devices, like your TV speakers right here. And this is my headphones, the, what I usually listen through. There's also the recording tab. You can see that I have just the one microphone here. It's my default, and when I talk, you can see this green shit coming in. That's good. Working as intended. We're not going to change that. Uh, right here under the... Yeah, this is my default output device. Now, whenever I play any audio out through my computer, obviously I want to be able to hear it through my headphones, and this is the gateway to that. So I'm going to play this little YouTube video here. When I do, you will see the audio coming through my headphones in this little spot right here. The green bars will show up. All right, so that's good. That's how you want it most of the time. You want the audio to come through your headphones. <clears throat> now the problem here comes from when you're in Discord, all of your Discord audio also goes to that channel. So for example, if I, right here, I can hit the, the mute button to toggle my mute and that makes a little sound that you can observe the sound coming out of that same audio channel. So why this is a problem? <clears throat> when you're broadcasting to your friends in Cast, Cast asks you to choose an audio channel to send to your friends so that they'll be able to hear the show, right? If you choose this audio channel to send to your friends in Cast, then yes, they will hear the show, but they will also hear all of your Discord audio that you would hear, including their own voices, which, as you can imagine, is pretty shit. So, how do we solve that? We're actually going to use... Uh, Cast recommended method, voice meter banana. This is an application that is recommended by Cast in their official tutorial on how to solve this exact same issue. But uh, that tutorial is kind of shitty. Uh, if you're if you're if, uh, Cast, if you're watching, I love you. But this thing needed a punch up, which is exactly what I'm doing. So there's a link right here to voice meter banana. You can find this, go to that link, or just you know Google it. Write this URL down, however you want to do it. Write it down with a fucking pen. Whatever. Uh, executable. That's the one you want. Voice meter executable file. Click install. I don't remember if it asks you to install any kind of a shitty toolbar or whatever. Just, you know, read it before you agree to anything, which you should be doing anyway, so no issues there. Once you install Voice Meter Banana, it's going to put two versions of the app on your computer. You have regular ass Voice Meter right here. You do not want that. You want to hit the Windows key and type B-A-N-A-N-A, -A -N -A, voice meter banana. I don't know what the difference is. It's just the one they tell me to use, so I use it. Once you have voice meter banana open, um, I know it looks intimidating. Don't worry about it. We're not going to be using very many of these controls. Uh, the first step is, you see there are a lot of lights down here, and uh, they can be on or off. You, just want to, you want to make sure that all these lights are off, and we'll get to adjusting those in just a little bit. The important thing that Voice Meter Banana does is it creates these two dummy output devices. Uh, just to ask him for donations there. These dummy output devices, we are going to use them to split the audio so that we can choose where, where it all goes, right? And they also correspond to these two virtual inputs in the middle. This is about, this, this is already like half of what you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about most of the stuff in this menu. There are two inputs here. There's this one here, 
and there's this guy here, the auxiliary. That's what you want to look for, is the AUX for auxiliary, is how you tell them apart. You might think VIO, but they actually both have VIO in their full names. There's the regular ass VIO, and there's the auxiliary VIO. So we want to remember auxiliary if we're trying to distinguish them. It's the regular ass one, the auxiliary one. We're going to use the regular ass one for all of our PC audio, except for Discord. And then the auxiliary one, we're going to split our Discord audio into so that our friends do not hear it. This is a, the important thing about this is that this is not exclusively the show's audio, this is just all your other PC audio. So any other shit you have going on in the background is going to be heard by your cast stream. Uh, that means that, you know, you can't watch porn in the background while you're casting a show because everything but Discord is going into your cast lobby. Alright? So... Uh, how we're going to accomplish this is, first thing is, the regular-ass audio, the non-auxiliary regular-ass audio, we want that to be our computer's default audio device. So right here, the regular-ass one that's not auxiliary, you click that, you click set default, now this is your computer's primary audio device now. That means it's going to prioritize it for all, all kinds of audio, right? <clears throat> now, if we open up that video again, and we play a little of it, now, I can't hear anything, but you can see that the audio is making it into the device, even though we can't hear it. And that is exactly how we want it. Now, uh, so that's, that's the first step. We have, the audio, we have all of our audio coming through the normal ass channel. The second step here is you want to open Discord, and we need to split Discord off. So over here in the gear menu, down here at the bottom, you want to go to voice and video, right there. And then your, you have your input device, which is your microphone. You're not going to touch that. It is the output device, which you hear your friends through that you want to change. You want to set that to the auxiliary, the other dummy device. All right. So now we can close that out. Now, whenever we make sound in Discord, if I hit the mute button to make, to make sound with Discord, you will see that in the auxiliary input, that when I, when I toggle my mute button, it's going to make the little green bars appear. All right, so just watch right here as I click the mute button. So Discord audio is making it into the auxiliary channel, right? And you might also notice that in addition to the Discord audio making it into the auxiliary channel on Windows, that channel is represented down here in voice meter banana. This is the auxiliary channel for Discord, so watch this meter, and I'll click the, uh, the icon here. Yeah, 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 okay. And same thing goes for the video. This, again, this is all other Windows audio. We'll go to here, and then it's also represented right there. That's good. That's how we want it. We can't hear anything yet, and that's fine. Um, so how do we start hearing things? So right here, you have... Actually, let's start here in the hardware out. You have three hardware outs. You only need one. We're going to use the A1 audio out. We're going to have that set to, remember, USB audio codec is the name of my headphone device. That's what I want. That's, this is the one that you want to literally, actually hear things out of. So I don't, I don't know what the difference is between WDM and MME. I'm sure you, someone knows, but not this guy. So I'm just going to use WDM. That's what I've been using. It's been fine. So A1 represents my headphones, right? So... The normal ass audio channel, the non auxiliary one, which represents all of our PC audio except Discord, we're going to forward that to the A1 channel. Remember, A1 is my actual headphones. Click that. Now the audio is being forwarded to my headphones. So when I play the video, it's actually coming out of my headphones now because this, this channel is being forwarded to them. Now let's get Discord open. Try that mute, and you, you know, you'll notice when I toggle the mute, you'll see it show up in the auxiliary here. You'll see it show up in the auxiliary here, but I won't hear it. Yeah, I hear nothing. So, we will take the auxiliary channel and also forward that to my headphones. Now, when I toggle the mute, suddenly we can hear it. So it's all coming into my headphones. I can now hear everything again, which is good. So the final step here, when you're in cast, let's go ahead and get a cast going right now in my gym tests things lobby. 
now that we're in here, uh, you can click the video thing to start broadcasting video. I'm just going to do my entire screen. You can do just an application if you want to, but we're going to do... Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll do this screen. Okay, so I'm now broadcasting the screen, and I need to choose which audio device I want to send. Right here, audio settings. Um, so output, what you hear, that you, you, you use that as the default device because you want that to go into the normal ass channel, the default device, and that will let you hear it. Input is what others hear, which if you're, you know, if you're using uh, cast for voice chat, this gets weird, which is why we're splitting it. Input, what do others hear through cast? You want them to hear your computer's default audio device. So computer's audio is what you choose here. You might see default device, but that is your default input device. That's your microphone. You don't want that. You want the computer's audio. All right. So now all of my default, my system defaults, the normal ass input is being sent to my cast lobby. Now, when you send audio to your cast lobby, your avatar lights up green, just like it does in Discord. You might notice that even though I'm talking, it's not lighting up because that audio is not making it to the lobby. And uh, same for Discord. If I open Discord up and make that sound, I can hear it. It's making it into the auxiliary input here. Oh, this damn thing. Okay. It's, it's making it into the auxiliary here, and you can see it in the auxiliary here, but it's not making it to the lobby. All right. So, um, but then if we go into... It's hard to show all this on my screen at once. Okay, let's go ahead and open that video again, and I'll just put it in the corner like that. Now, when I play the video, you can see that it will make it into here, and it's going through the default, the normal ass channel, and then it will also make it to cast. Only the 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 video will make it to cast. So there you go. The video is coming through cast. It's making it to the lobby, and Discord is not. Um, you'll probably have to, if you miss a step, you'll just have to run this by your friends. Be like, hey, can you hear the video? Does everything sound okay? Do I sound okay? And uh, hopefully, that will take care of everything. Last thing you should know is the teardown at the end. It's very simple. Um, you just, when you're done with cast, you just close cast. You just close banana. You don't have to think about it until next time. You have to change your output, your playback device, back to your headphones, or else you won't be able to hear your computer. And you have to go into Discord and change your output device back to your headphones. There you go. And then once you've done that, you are back to normal. And uh, hopefully that will take care of that. Um, I guess that's all. Good luck.